Hello, my name is Stephen Carr and I'd like to welcome you to another Photoshop cooking class. In this class we're going to look at doing a elevation or a section view. So I'm just going to uh, open my small section view here. Now this is, uh, again we went through this in our SketchUp to Photoshop section, so you can see how we did all this information here. So I'm just going to, again, uh, bring in the other images. So this is my open background. This is my black and white. So and I'm just going to place my color. And now I'm going to place my render. Okay, so I've got probably more information in here that I really want, so I'll probably just crop some of this off. Actually, I'm just going to, to duplicate this layer, and then I'm going to rasterize it. And I'm just going to look at my crop tool here. I think I'm just going to try to cut some of this off. I don't really need that much of it. I think I'm just going to cut this off here like this. I don't need to get into the balcony, I don't think. So this is my area that I want to work with now. So in my black and white, I can try to select my walls. So we just do the best we can here. I'm just going to call this all furniture here. And I think that would be wall and that would be wall as well. So I'm just going to uh, do a wall layer here, layer, sorry, select, save selection, and just call it wall. That's good. And um, I'm just going to inverse this selection and call it furniture. So I go into select, inverse, and... I'll just do a selection again and furniture, just call it furniture. I know I have a little bit more than just the furniture, but I think I can work around that. I'm not going to worry about the wall stuff. Later on we can maybe, we'll try to do a little bit of playing with that. So we've got um, a few things that we want to do in here. With, uh, go ahead. I'm just going to inverse my selection again. Now, the wall that we have here is basically white. So, we might choose to select a color that maybe we would like to maybe work as our color for the wall. Well, I'll just see what I can, come, what I, I'll play a little bit. I may change it a little bit. Um, I think that pretty much covers most of it. So this is my wall. So th this is fine. We could work with burn and dodge on this. But I think you'll find that if you go to the... I'm just going to inverse this and then go to my eyedropper and select this so that these are both the same color. Now when I click on this one here, what I want to do is I want to darken this. So I'm going to try something like this. Now, what, if you'll notice, if you look at a ceiling, you know that the wall is one color of paint, but the ceiling is always darker than the rest of the wall. So I should be able to go underneath my paint bucket here to my gradient tool, and I should be able to just drag this through, and now you get this light to dark. Now, maybe that's too far, so I'll just try and drag it a little bit shorter. And that's probably not too bad. So you can see the effect that I'm trying to get here. So I'm, I'm kind of liking that. Obviously the part, the top is dark and the bottom. So I can still do a little bit of burn and dodge in this. Burn and dodge. I'm going to drop this down a little bit. So maybe I'm going to find that in the in this area here, it says midtones, I'll try highlights. It's going to be a little bit darker down in this area. Maybe along the corners. 
be a little bit darker on the corners. So we're just trying to get a little bit of effect here. So you can see that this part worked out very, very well. I really like what happened with that part of it. So maybe a little bit of dodge and just to try and not make it so pronounced. So you have to play with it till you're happy with what you get with it. So I'm really liking what I have done here. I think that that's come up quite nicely. Um, I'm just going to inverse my selection, control I. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. Edit, undo, that was invert, not inverse. Shift, control I. Okay, so again, I'm going to work with uh, my burn tool. Just going to do a little bit of work on the curtains here. Now, I've got some wall area here that I kind of missed out on, so I'm going to have to uh, do a bit of selection in that. I've got some, do a little bit of burning in here. Just change this. That still highlights, so that should burn that up pretty good. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm going to have to do a little bit more work here. So with my magic wand, I'm just going to go into this area, select. With my magic wand, I'll just select. Why are we having trouble here? There. Hold down the shift to here. And then I'm going to, again, with my gradient tool, just drag it down like that. I think. To, oh, go back up to here. There we go. So that gives me, just filling that in a little bit. Now, um, I can zoom in a little bit to make life a little bit easier to work in areas. Just make my brush a little bit smaller. Of course, I could have always given this a color as well, working in these different areas. What I like to do here is actually, I, I'd like to put an image behind here. So I'm just going to go to your file, place, and I just go into my libraries, documents, images, and uh, sites. Oh. So I'm just going to grab maybe one of these guys here. Okay, so I'm going to just drop this underneath here. And now I'm going to go in and select these areas. Heaven Tron doesn't like that area. Okay, select it here. So I can delete that. Go to here and delete that. And then I'm just going to go over to the other side and do the same thing. So I'm going to my background, magic wand, this area. And go back to my other layer, delete it.
here. Not sure why that's not deleting. It deleted on the other side quite nicely. Well, that's interesting. I guess I need my image to be made a little bit larger. So that's easy enough to do. So I can uh, go on to my cloud layer, go into edit, transform scale. So I'll just grab that, drag it past here, and now I think I'll be, accept that. There I go. So another thing I like to do with this is this looks a little bit too bright, so I'll just grab the opacity and drop it back so that it looks like it's you're kind of looking through a window. It's kind of faded off a little bit. And then I'll just... Uh, There we go. It looks like we're looking out the window and we can see the background behind it. So this is working out pretty good. Um, I'm just going to maybe take some of these other areas here and kind of gray them off. So I think I'm just going to, yeah, we have a window here, so I'll just try to. All right, so a little bit over here maybe. So I'm just going to go into my colors here. I'm just going to try to pick a gray color here and create a new layer. Well, actually, I should be able to do it on this layer here. Paint bucket. Maybe I'm going to do a new layer here. That's better. And so now also I can play with my opacity to kind of tone it down a little bit. So you sort of see a little bit in there, but not really a heck of a lot. Okay, so what I want to try to do now is I'm going to merge these layers. And I'll just call it render. And I think I'm going to uh, save this now and we'll come back and we'll add lighting. So thank you and see you for the next session.